Hi, it's me, Mucho Loco, and today I will show you how I hack and such in my own computer. First, what the hell is a Hackintosh? One minute, super fast explanations. Apple computers use an operational system called macOS, but opposite to Windows, macOS is made especially for Apple computers and can be installed on other ones. At least, they think that. Ha! <laughs> Macintosh is the code name for Mac computers, and hack? Well, you put them together and... Yeah, you get it, right? But why in the actual freak would I want to put a real bad company's operational system into my sacred PC? Well, it's simple. If you're a video editor, music producer, or really likes to watch porn... No, just kidding. <laughs> Basically, if you're a content producer, macOS is a really good operational system and is really aesthetically pleasing for your eyes. The industry standard software is all in macOS. Wow, that's so cool, so how do I do it? Well. It's not that simple at all. Actually, I, I would go further and say that this is really, really hard. It's not only hard, but having a compatible system is essential. But seriously though, if you have a modern computer, it should probably work. Let's go to the install process and then I'll show you how it is. Let's just jump into it. Let's like, let's like jump into it. Remember, this process is made especially for my own specific computer configuration. But if you have a, like a similar one, it should probably work, I don't know, but like you just want this to have a basis and then you go search for yourself and search how you can do it for your own specific configuration. Okay? You've seen many Hackintosh videos that you need a real Mac to do this. Well, while this is true, internet is also awesome. There is a forum called Olarila that makes ready images so you can literally like just burn the image to your USB stick and then boot and everything will be fine. There are a lot of ready made images on the internet but like they're sketchy. But these guys in Olarila, I kind of know them because I was like in a Facebook group with them so I can tell you that the images are really safe to use and not sketchy at all. You need to download this raw image and burn it to your USB stick with a software called Win32 Disk Imager. And after doing that, you already have a USB booting stick for macOS, including the bootloader and everything. Now, you need to do some changes in your main board BIOS. There is a list on Tony Mac X86 which tells you exactly what you need to do in order to make it work, so go check it out. Everything will be in the description, so seriously, don't worry. After making these changes, you need to boot on a UFI partition of your USB stick. After doing that, you're on the Clover bootloader screen. So now, go to options and erase everything on the first line. Go back to the main page and start from macOS install High Sierra Olarila. Now you're on the install screen of macOS High Sierra. First, go to Disk Utility and show all devices. Go to your SSD or hard drive, I don't know which you use, but preferably, prefer, preferably an SSD because it's really faster and works better with macOS. So use an SSD. Now you need to format your SSD as an APFS format container. Now go back to the install screen and choose your SSD that you just formatted and click install. After you boot for this first time, you need to set up your computer. You need to put your name and stuff, uh, yeah, just that regular setting up things. And well, now you kind of have a macOS working computer, I mean, yay? Nah, not yet, because you need to do the post install process now. Open the software called MultiBeast. Select a quick start, UFI boot mode, drivers audio, Apple LC, Realtek, ALC8087, disk, don't put anything, misc, leave it all like that, network, Realtek, RTL8111, 30 part USB 3.0, USB inject all, bootloaders, leave it like that, customize, NVIDIA Web Drivers Boot Flag You can leave it like that System Definitions 
with the system definitions that match your best your computer. Mine is IMAX 18.2. Now, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card such as 900 or 10,000 series, you probably have to install something called NVIDIA Web Drivers for it to work properly. So after installing everything on Multibis, just install the NVIDIA Web Drivers and it should work. You can already remove your USB installation from your computer as Clover is already installed into your hard drive. Now restart your computer. On the Clover bootloader screen, press space on boot on macOS in the name of your SD. SSD and select use NVIDIA web drivers and then boot with selected options. But doing that every time you boot is really boring. So there's a software called Clover Configurator where you can choose flags and the time to enter your system. You can configure it everything. Just follow these steps. Mount EFI, EFI on APFS container, click on mount partition, put your password, click OK, go to the home screen. Click on config.plist, go to boot, disable dart equals 0, enable NVIDIA drive equals 1. Now just close and save. For the last thing, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can install now CUDA drivers. So we have hardware acceleration for video editing, gaming and all of that. Now reboot your PC and you're ready! Now you indeed have a real working macOS computer for cheap. Honestly though, the results are pretty damn good. You can install software like iMovie, Final Cut and everything that you could only use on a Mac computer. The UI is really blazing fast and beautiful, I mean like... I don't even need to say that it's beautiful, I mean, Apple is a bad company, but there, if there's something they know how to do is to make aesthetically beautiful system OS's. So enjoy your Hackintosh now, I guess, right? If you're a content producer like a YouTube or music producer, macOS is really good for you. I don't know, like, it just have this feeling of like... I am producing stuff, I don't, I don't know how to explain that, but if you're, seriously, if you're a YouTuber or music producer, you will feel that too. I have macOS installed on my 250GB SSD, dual booted with Windows installed on the 1TB hard drive. So I can enjoy the content producing niche and the PC master race niche, so like, it, it, it's just perfect, there's literally no reason not to do that. But there are some side notes that I need to tell you here. First. Do not update your system at all. Seriously, don't don't update anything. Just apps. Just apps. Second, I couldn't get iMessage and FaceTime to work. I, I tried some guides, but none of them worked for me. You can try it. It might work for you. I don't know. But like iMessage isn't really used in my country, so whatever. <laughs> Except for these two things, everything is working real fine. There's no hiccups at all. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, leave a like below, it gave me a lot of work to get this all done. So if you like this video, like, subscribe and comment. This was my first English video on my channel, so I don't know if I'm going to continue keep doing these videos in English or go back to Portuguese, I, I still don't know. But you can always comment below and give me your, your own opinion. That was it, hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time.